Okay guys, so let's talk about the scope of bioinformatics. So previously we have seen its introduction and we have seen some definitions and some correlated fields and their definitions. So bioinformatics is relatively a new and emerging discipline and we can trace back its history from somewhere in mid, mid 90s uh, where originally it was believed to be involved with the uh, analysis of DNA, protein and RNA sequences. So mainly it started as a sequence analysis uh, subject. So sequence analysis tools have been there since 1960s but actually the advances in genome sequencing technologies have now been expanded and obviously that uh, have taken much interest from the research community. So nowadays everyone talks about next generation sequencing machines and the data which is coming from that. So the role of bioinformatics and genome informatics is very very important. Now let's talk about some trends in the bioinformatics market. So there is a survey which is, a, which is there by this group, Allied Market Research Group, and uh, you can look into the internet. I can provide you the link. So they say that the bioinformatics market will grow from uh, right now where it is to 12.86 billion by 2020 at a compound annual growth rate, which is abbreviated as CAGR of 21.2%. So between 2014 to 2020, the market will go up to 12.86 billion, which is actually a really big, big number. If you go into the Allied uh, Market Research uh, link, so you can see this chart over there. Obviously, this uh, report is actually the paid report, but we can have a general uh, inferences out of this chart. So where they present us the global bioinformatics market where they gave us those figures again that market by 2020 will go up to 12.86 billion. There are different trends which are already there. Uh, then they also discuss market by technology wise where they have the knowledge management tools and bioinformatics programs and their different links in which you can also look into the services. So there are different sectors. So where is mostly the investments and mostly the funding is going into this uh, informatics services structure. So most of the biologists they need help as far as the analysis of their data is concerned. They also explore the market by applications, uh, topmost genomics, then obviously chem informatics and drug designs. Um, there are the projects which are going on in proteomics, transcriptomics and metablonomics. If you look this chart they also provide the global market by different sectors. So medical bioinformatics at the top, then obviously animal bioinformatics, agricultural bioinformatics, academia and obviously a lot of projects and funding is going on towards those microbial genomes. Global market by geography, uh, they also split into different uh, regions like North America, Asia Pacific, Europe and rest of the world. Uh, North America is having the highest revenue which is generated up to 5.1 billion dollars. So that's a big number. So obviously in America, and uh, allied countries, there's a lot of research going on, especially the funding is there in next and data analysis area. Global bioinformatics by market dynamics. So there are different drivers which, which derive this market. So there is a need for integrated data. Uh, there is an increasing growth in proteomics and genomics and drug discovery and developments. And obviously a lot of government in initiatives are there which, uh, which are playing a big role towards driving this markets. There are some restraints in this area also. Uh, we need more skilled label. Uh, we also need common data formats. Obviously different data from different organizations. So they have incompatibility issues. So they're trying to solve that. And obviously the pharmaceutical sector is also saturated. So that's also constraint on this uh, market. But overall what we conclude from here is that obviously it's a big market, so there is a big scope in this area to invest your time to learn this area and obviously to have skills in this area.